Today I've got an extraordinary story that'll truly amaze you. It's about a woman who was kidnapped as a child over 50 years ago and was recently found living in Fort Worth, Texas, the same city she was abducted from. This miraculous reunion is a testament to the power of modern DNA testing and the enduring love of a family that never gave up hope. Melissa Highsmith was just 22 months old when she was abducted by a babysitter in 1971. For decades, her family had no idea what happened to her. They celebrated her birthdays every year, hoping against hope that they would one day find her. And remarkably, their perseverance paid off. Melissa's journey back to her family began with a simple DNA test. Her father, Jeffrey Highsmith, submitted his DNA to 23andMe, a popular genetic testing service. The results revealed a match with three grandchildren who turned out to be Melissa's children. After further testing, it was confirmed that Melanie Brown, also known as Melanie Walden, was indeed Melissa Highsmith. What's even more astonishing is that Melissa had lived in Fort Worth most of her life and never knew she had been kidnapped. She believed the woman who raised her was her mother and had no inkling of her true identity. Her family shared this revelation on a Facebook page called We Found Melissa and are expecting the police to investigate what happened to the woman who abducted her. Imagine the emotions involved. Melissa reunited with her parents and two of her four siblings for the first time in over 50 years. Her sister, Victoria Garner, who said that she couldn't stop crying and felt like she was in a fog, unable to fully comprehend that her long-lost sister was finally home. The family celebrated this incredible reunion with a special event held at their church in Fort Worth. Melissa's mother, Alta Apentenko, had lived with guilt and accusations for years. People had wrongly speculated that she harmed her own child. But now, with Melissa back, the truth was out, and Alta finally had the vindication she deserved. Sharon Highsmith, another of Melissa's sisters who lives in Spain, planned to meet Melissa that following Christmas and did so. She expressed her relief and joy, highlighting the family's relentless efforts over the years. They had hired private investigators, conducted their own investigations, and chased numerous leads. But it was the accessible DNA tests that finally brought Melissa back to them. The story of Melissa's abduction is equally as heart-wrenching. Back in 1971, Alta was a single mom working as a waitress. She had recently separated from Melissa's father and moved to Fort Worth to start a new life. To balance her demanding job and take care of her child, Alta placed an ad in a newspaper looking for a babysitter. A woman responded and seemed perfect for the job. Due to her fear of losing her job, Alta made the tough decision to hire the babysitter without meeting her in person. Tragically, that decision led to Melissa's abduction. Melissa's life after the abduction was far from easy. She believed that the woman who raised her was her mother, but described her childhood as abusive. At 15, she ran away and lived on the streets, doing whatever she could to survive. She shared that she never felt loved and had to fend for herself from a very young age. Despite these hardships, Melissa has shown incredible strength and resilience, surviving an abusive childhood and finding ways to cope with her difficult circumstances. The Fort Worth Police Department conducted an official DNA testing to confirm Melissa's identity. They also reopened the investigation into her abduction, even though the criminal statute of limitations has long expired. The police are committed to uncovering all available information about what happened over 50 years ago. The family hopes that this investigation will bring some closure and answer the many questions they still have. Melissa's family worked with an amateur genealogist who helped them interpret the DNA results and research the public records. This collaboration, along with their unwavering determination, led to this miraculous reunion. Melissa's story has inspired many, and her family encourages others with missing loved ones to keep believing and chasing every lead. This incredible journey shows that even the most challenging puzzles can be solved, and lost loved ones can be found. 
it's important to acknowledge the advancements in DNA testing and genealogy that made this reunion possible. The ease of accessibility of DNA testing nowadays has empowered many families to reconnect with lost loved ones and uncover their roots. This case highlights the importance of these technologies and their potential to solve long-standing mysteries. The emotional impact of this reunion cannot be overstated. For Melissa, discovering her true identity after over 50 years is a life-changing event. Reuniting with her biological family offers a chance to heal and build new relationships. For her family, finding Melissa brings immense joy and relief, ending decades of uncertainty and pain. This story also underscores the resilience of the human spirit. Despite facing significant challenges and traumas, Melissa has shown incredible strength. Her family's unwavering hope and determination had finally paid off, bringing them back together after so many years. As for the kidnapper, Melissa and her family don't know what happened to the woman who took her. Melissa's story is a testament to the power of love, perseverance, and modern technology. It serves as a beacon of hope for families with missing loved ones, reminding them never to give up. As we continue to hear more stories like this, it's clear that the possibilities are endless when science and determination come together. What do you think of this remarkable story? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more incredible stories. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.